Hey guys, I've been um, I've been posting a couple times on my Facebook page about Ethereum, and uh, somebody was asking me what is Ethereum and why I think Ethereum is so important, and I would like to explain my opinion on why I think Ethereum will be a disruptive uh, platform in the future. So I'm on the Ethereum uh, page right now, as you can see right here. It's just a superficial information. Yes, there are more in-depth information if you want, but once you open your the the, the main page, what is Ethereum? It's the foundation of uh, for our digital future. Ethereum is open to everyone, and all you need is a wallet to take part. Ethereum is banking for everyone, a more private internet, a peer-to-peer -peer network. So this doesn't really tell you... Um, like, it doesn't really make you love Ethereum just for just from all those information, right? I will go over some uh, more in-depth information I'll, and uh, I'll explain my uh, my knowledge in the best uh, in the best ability I can. So, talking about Ethereum, um, I've been um, following Ethereum and uh, I own Ethereum since two thousand seventeen. I've been uh, I've been to many conferences uh, and. Uh, webinars and stuff like that so subscription i've been i've been following a lot of subscription uh, from uh, uh, much more influential people so i uh, pretty much i can now i can uh, i can say my opinion about the uh, ethereum because i know some information about it so i would say that ethereum is the number one coin to buy right number one crypto to buy if I had if I had a choice in in uh, is, is Ethereum right? If it, so, I'll tell you why I think this coin has an incredible potential. But uh, you have to do your own uh, research, guys, because everything is uh, has a, has its own risk. Because there are risks everywhere. Even uh, even the dollar has a risk of inflation, and uh, the dollar is also volatile. Not just like like Bitcoin and Ethereum, but in a small, it's a small, it's a small fluctuation exists every day, because anytime you, anytime price goes up, that's that's a volatile, that's a dollar volatility. So some people doesn't even realize that Bitcoin, uh, that, I'm sorry, that dollar is also volatile in a small, a very small percentage compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. But it is. But in the future, I think inflation will be uh, affected, uh, will be affect Bitcoin very, very, uh, very hard. So. I think um, you should you should jump into any of those projects like Ethereum, Bitcoin. I think you should jump on those projects without even knowing like, what the heck is going on with uh, those coins, because uh, it's something it's something with a very very low risk. You, you, there's not a lot of risk involved into Bitcoin and Ethereum. So those coins over here, they've been here for I can say that it's been here forever. Bitcoin number one has been here forever, and Ethereum number two has been here forever. It, it just it just never changed. It just Ethereum has been here for forever. Okay, let's say that. So, <clears throat> cryptocurrency have a, have a purpose. The purpose of those all those cryptos right here, guys, is just to help you politically. They are built to help you gain independence on your life from from institutional. Uh, you can uh, you can cut uh, out the middleman. Someone in Brazil, let's say let's say an example. If you wanna if you wanna send some money and you are in Brazil, right? You are in Brazil. You wanna send some money to Europe, let's say France. You just all you do is just send his money from your Ethereum wallet to his Ethereum wallet, and no middleman involved in this transaction. No banks. You don't have to ask nobody if you can send this amount or not. Because many times you can if you send a big amount of money. Try try do this with a bank. They will ask you where you got this money from. They will try to find you more information. They will ask your social security number. So, in many cases, they they can froze your transaction for for a period of time, unless everything is fine. And then they will they will uh, open the transaction. But why would you not use uh, Bla uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or or other coins that nobody's gonna ask you any question? You just press one button and your your Bitcoin is gone. That's it. It's simple. So Bitcoin is the first sketch of uh, of all these uh, uh, future uh, transactions. So we are going to find the find that in, in the coming years the the cryptocurrency can do much more 
than just uh, disrupt the traditional banking. Because uh, Bitcoin and all those crypto are against banks. Banks are suffering because, uh, because of crypto. So they have a potential to change the face for every in- industry on, on this planet. And I believe Ethereum is one of those the industry that, that will will change everything and, and in day to day you don't even realize that Ethereum is already is already in a system right now and is operating. But you don't know that the Ethereum is very very important. Uh, it's very important, guys. So this is something you have to know the value of the bit of the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all those coins because if you wanna be strong, and and uh, in one coin you have to know the fundamentals. And what the coin is trying to solve for, for, for the world. You have to know what this coin is trying to do. And then, then you know. And then you know that this coin is very, very uh, powerful. Or this coin is not powerful. This coin means something or doesn't mean anything. So you have to do some more research. So Because when let's say that when, when you don't understand something, you have to do more research. It doesn't mean you have to ignore it. Please don't ignore it. Because you don't know what you're ignoring, okay? You you can ignore your future just because you don't study what's Bitcoin, what's Ethereum, what's what's uh, what's uh, the other coins over here, right? In this case, I'm gonna talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum as a to be more more easy, more specific, because uh, all those coins are are much more uh, new, so it's uh, something else. But um, the most most the top coins right now, I'm gonna focus on the Bitcoin and Ethereum as as an example. So. Yeah, um, Bitcoin. Let's talk about a small, a very uh, small differential between Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitcoin is focused on being a store of value, and and also a currency. For now, a currency is kind of is not is not ready for to be a currency, but um, it is. Yeah. So Bitcoin is focused to be a store of value and a currency. Ethereum is focused to be a smart contract, and this is a huge difference between Bitcoin. And Ethereum, Bitcoin a goal of uh, uh, sorry a store of value, and Ethereum is a smart contract. A smart contract is uh, something that you can build on this platform. So you can build the decentralized application on the blockchain, also knows the DApps. So in the in the in the Ethereum in Ethereum the property and contract law are the fundamental. Okay. The 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 property on the contract. This is the law. You, you can't you can't change this in in this blockchain Ethereum. It's something that's it's unchangeable. This is it's fixed. So smart contracts will allow us to enforce the the, the aspects of society in a more uh, decentralized, uh, trusted way. I mean, uh, no middleman. Okay, you can do anything in Ethereum without uh, anybody to tell you yes you can or no you can't. Because it's uh, verified by by miners. So um, once once the information is introduced into the blocks of the Ethereum, they become uh, unstoppable. Okay, if the information is in, is is stored into the blockchains, this information is unstoppable. So blockchain becomes a global and permanent data, which uh, programs which can be um, programmable, audible. You can you can you can you can uh, Go back and check what you said and what you said. I will, I will tell you one more a different example a little bit uh, later, because uh, what 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 this means? It means it means that um, it's impossible to disregard or ignore a contract or a decision once it's uh, it's coded into a motion of the blockchain. Anyone can now did the blockchain and prove that uh, you did what you did and you said what you said. Let's say you make let, let, as an example you. You buying a house, or you, or you, you anything, anything you operating on blockchain is is stamped over there, and you cannot change it. All the information you introduced over there, it's it's permanent. So the other stuff about uh, Ethereum is that uh, let's let's say uh, what is the smart contracts. Um, I will try to um, explain the best way what is smart contracts. A smart contract is a, is like a set of promises. It's a promise, but it's in a digital way. It's a, a specified in digital form, uh, which they know as a protocols. 
that uh, the parties, both parties, or one or two, must they must be must be perform and and, and follow those promises. Uh, one of the best the best uh, example of this type of uh, promises how to be performed is the, mm, the let's say and as an example as a wedding machine. Everybody has been using a wedding machine before. So a wed wedding wedding machine. You're going to buy. Let's say you're going to buy a coke, right? Anytime you're going to buy a coke, you 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 there's a lot of choice to buy a coke. Okay, let's say a coke is uh, five dollars. You put your uh, no. Let's say uh, let's say one coke is two dollars. Let's make it a little bit complicated for for the for the smart contract. Let's say a coke is two dollars. You put five dollars. The machine, the smart contract, has to know to give you three dollars back, and also give you the coke you choose or the type of drink you choose from multiple ones so this is a very uh, this is something you see every day right it's a, that's a that's a type of smart contract that you it's it's real it's real there's nothing something uh, unreal so the simple forms of a smart contract in a, in a cryptocurrency is a transaction on a, on a blockchain when you send money just from one person to other person using a bitcoin so for now this system is very very simple because uh, it's been it's, it's it's becoming becoming more and more popular so it will be very um, it will be very easy to use one day once you get used to this it's going to become more easy but for now as a beginning it's a lot of information it's a lot of steps to you must follow before you you getting uh, engaged to this system because it's new everything is new and a lot of uh, unknown information so, but the smart contracts, smart contracts can do much, much more. This is not just, we're not, we're not limiting on just uh, buying a Coke from a, a winning machine. Uh, smart contracts is just, it's crazy, okay? It's something, I mean, when I, when I, when I read and when I talk about smart contracts on Ethereum, I feel like, I, I, I don't know, it's just, it, it has no, no limits, okay? Ethereum has no limits. So... I'll give you one example of uh, a couple example of uh, smart contract that that will impact the life forever. Ethereum can be used to codify, decentralize, and secure uh, pretty much anything. Let's say uh, voting, like they, they they can help you with the uh, voting uh, in the future, financial exchange, uh, contracts, and agreement of most kind, like. Uh, you can use this agreement with no lawyer. They, they will. They, that's a. It's a. It's a way to replace lawyers, and it will be, you don't. You don't have to pay nobody, no lawyers, because once it's based on on Ethereum contract, no lawyer required. So and, and even smart properties, you can apply this to smart properties. Let's uh, let's talk about uh, voting, right? Because uh, we know we know everybody. Everybody knows how voting is going right now, especially. Uh, uh, it's a fresh one now voting uh, all those scanners because how the voting got uh, uh, counting and uh, not so voting has a uh, has been a problem for, for a problem for a long time so anyone knows that because uh, when when you vote right let's say you vote through the and you you vote you're getting your stuff you put your you putting your vote you send it to the office post sorry you send it to the office post Okay, how many people are touching your uh, your choice, your vote? It go through too many people, right? It touching by so many people. It, okay, it, and it's not a problem, right? What's the problem with with this? Is just it has a high. Uh, it's more. It's very likely and has high risk to lose your vote, and also to fake your vote. Okay, it may get count or it may not get counted. Who knows what's going on there? So. Uh, for now, I don't think uh, voting uh, procedure it's it's very very uh, reflective. They are kind of they can still make a lot of changes. It doesn't matter what you like, what you vote. They still can change a lot on on your decision. So I will I'll make you a, give an example how to how how Ethereum could change this voting system. So they would uh, Ethereum if you wanna implement this uh, this voting system into Ethereum. Uh, the government would would send you a coin, a coin. It's a unique coin, it, and uh, yeah, of course, it's on the Ethereum platform. It's a unique coin that it will be sent to 
every American who is eligible to vote, okay? Once you got this coin, you got this coin, you vote, you choose your vote, and you sell it. Once you sell, once you sell your coin, it goes back to the to where it comes from, okay, to the ledger. So this is, you you cannot change anything. This is a unique coin. You get it, you sign it, you send it back. There's no middleman in between all those transactions. So your vote will be more um, more well more. It'll be a hundred percent accurate because there is no way you can make any change into into the blockchain. Because everything is recorded, and you can you can go back and uh, and uh, audit uh, the the blockchain transaction. So you can see what was your uh, original uh, choice. So there's something you cannot uh, cheat the system. Yes, because cheating system right now it's very easy. But once you implement the, the blockchain and Ethereum and voting system, there will be no way to cheat the system. So it's gonna be hard for somebody. So anyone would be able to use this system. It's it's, it's, it's something that uh, just downloading an app and you get in a coin, you vote, you send it back. That, that's it. Another uh, example of smart contracts would be, um, let's say, smart uh, properties, okay? I'll, I'll just give you an easy example so it will be understandable for everybody. Easy, easy, easy example. So that would be... Um, Let's say, uh, as an example, uh, a rental company, okay? A cars that a rental company cars. You you going to get a car from rental company, right? So, the car rental company can release a coin. The coin rep each every coin represent each car they have. Let's say they have a thousand cars. They they make a thousand coins, and. Uh, each card then configure to the card to turn on only if they receive a message signed with the private key that uh, currently owns the coin. It can be released uh, as a smartphone app that anyone can use to broadcast a message, sign it with the, the private keys. So this is a little bit complicated, but this is something. This is not something that you uh, that you do. That's a, that's a company does. Okay, all they do is just. Uh, you'll be able to purchase a, a coin just by downloading a simple app and that's it you you got your app you go into your car you got your car once you drive your car two three four five six seven days you sell you sell your coin and selling your coin is just like returning your keys to, to the to the to the office that's it you don't need to go nowhere you don't need uh, lawyers or somebody else this is very simple simple stuff and very um, and very used case. So there are thousands, thousands of potential use cases for Ethereum. Ethereum has no limits. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, decentralized apps, which means that there has no no owner. It means it's open source for everybody, and no one are controlling these apps. Could uh, could pretty much uh, change the whole world. That will run from the Ethereum network. Think about um, Airbnb, Airbnb, Uber. There are a couple. There are much, much, many more companies uh, that are operating right now. <coughs> excuse me, which already uh, revolutionized the whole system. The industry is being they, this industry, like like Uber or Airbnb, is being run a hundred percent peer to peer. There is no you don't call nobody to make a reservation. You just open your app. And you got your room, you go and sleep, and, and that's it. They the say it's easy. You open your app, you, you call your cab, your taxi, Uber, and it comes to you. So when we got saying about um, when you're saying that that you don't like uh, all those stuff, that's not that's not a right decision to say you don't like Bitcoin or you don't like Ethereum. You got to make sure you understand what you're saying. You have to understand that what's the potential. Because saying that you don't like, that's not an argument, okay? If you don't like something, you have to say why you don't like it. But the, this, is, this is very, very important stuff. Let's say, let's say real estate. Let's, let's, let's put this Ethereum coin into a real estate case. You buy a house, right? You, or you sell a house. Why do you pay for uh, real estate agents? You don't need that agent anymore, guys. 
then this is gonna happen very soon and sooner than 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 you, than you think. You don't need a real estate agent anymore. Real estate agent is gonna be as an optional case, okay? Right now it's not an option. You have to get a real estate agent right now. Sure. So I think in the future the real estate is gonna be something optional. Something if you want. But most of the people will not use the real estate agents. So because anytime you buy sell a house, you pay three percent to this uh, to to this uh, real estate guy and the other one to the other party. So there's at least two real estates involved over here and you got uh, brokerage, brokerage fees and you got closing fees. You pay a lot of money. And this money, you should not pay anything when when all these transactions are going to be implemented into, into blockchain Ethereum. So all you know is just Ethereum works, works and it will make this 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 uh, this seems much much uh, understandable because if you know how the Ethereum works, then 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 having a then having a real estate agent they make no sense, okay? Uh, because uh, you can do this without having any anybody. You can do just direct from I sell my house, you buy my house. So all this transaction is between me and you. There's nobody else, okay, guys. You buy my house, okay? You send me the contract, I sign into the Ethereum. That's it. No middlemen, no real estate agents, no brokerage fees, no closing fees. So I think you should be able to know right now pretty much the power of Ethereum. So as I said, this is something, a couple examples only, okay? Ethereum is unlimited. You can do so much more advanced stuff. You can do a lot of stuff. It, it, could, it could replace a lot of lawyers' work. Work that is it's it doesn't require any 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 lawyers to be implicated in, into this transaction. So Ethereum Ethereum 2.0 is coming soon. Um, Ethereum is gonna make a new update EIP 1559. So when all this, at least at least when we're waiting for waiting for uh, uh, Ethereum IAP 1559, which is gonna happen in July. I will accelerate the transaction and make Ethereum so much faster. So Ethereum is as a super coin. That's why I, I call Ethereum super coin. That will make you a millionaire one day. Okay? It depends how many how many coins you buy. But it will make you very rich at least. Because uh, when you say that you don't like, let's say you don't like Bitcoin, right? That's the same way when you're telling me that you don't like Uber, but you like Cap, okay? How many cabs you see? How many taxis you see on the road right now? You don't see too many. Very, very few, right? So, telling me that you don't like Bitcoin is the same way that it tells me that you like taxi over Uber. Because Uber, guys, it's something that it disrupted the, the taxi industry. So, it's it pretty much is up to you to adapt to this technology or remain behind it. It's pretty much your choice. Um, this is uh, pretty much all I can say for now. I don't want to make th this video too long, but uh, you have to go ahead, guys, and make yourself comfortable on uh, understanding what's uh, what is Ethereum. As I said before, Ethereum is a very very powerful uh, coin, and it's very different than Bitcoin. So when when you open, uh, let's say you open the market cap coin market cap. You see Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're, all those coins, they are very different by each other. There are some coins that are very similar. Let's say ADA, Cardano, they are trying to compete with Ethereum. But Ethereum is getting better now because they have some new updates and it's been here for so long. The number one is that it's been here for, for so long and also it, it's, uh, it's a coin as, as, as a utility is very, very high. And it's made by a smart genius guy, a Russian guy, Vitalik Buterin. And um, I think this coin has has no no limits. Okay, this coin will be. I don't think it's gonna go as Bitcoin price, but it's gonna be very very profitable in a, in the future. So all you have to do is just invest a small amount in in a coin. Okay, smaller invest as much as you can. But if you just in case you lose those money, right? It's, it's let's say it goes to zero or whatever. Everybody says. Just make sure you, you don't you don't you feel comfortable to, to, to lose the money. So please do your own research. 
And uh, if you if you found something that I uh, help you to understand what's Ethereum, and maybe I uh, give you some uh, new better information, please subscribe to, the, to my channel. I will um, I will try to post more videos. I, I, I'm well making YouTube videos actually is not very it's not easy as 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 I thought before, and uh, it's a lot of um, it's not easy. Okay, so please subscribe. I can make like uh, fancy videos. I just make simple videos to understand what's going on. You have a great day and um, do your research before you buy anything. Bye-bye.